update for you guys. Not good day. Not good day. Well, hello guys. Good morning, good, afternoon, good evening, and good afternoon to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. And I know I said that wrong again. Whatever. Today, it is May 26th, I believe. 24th, I am wrong. Um, it is a Thursday. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just got off work and we come in here and spray for a couple hours. So, it's been a while since I've been out here. It's probably been almost a week. I well, mean, not quite, but a lot has happened the last week. We are just about done with corn. We might actually even finish up with uh, all of our tilled corn ground today. We just got a little bit of our manure fields left. But, uh, We'll get to that later. I think they're gonna haul manure this weekend and maybe till it up and plant it up, plant it uh, middle of next week. But it is probably gonna be sandwich corn, so I don't think it matters anyway. So I'm gonna go spray the last of our no-till. Pat's up at Long's planting right now. We're just getting up there to go plant, and that's where I'm gonna head to go spray. I believe Brian has everything worked right now, and. Uh, yeah, let's see. The corn's coming up real nice. I actually see some beans coming up on the way up too. So, I better get going. I only have a couple hours. I got class tonight, so I can't stay for too long. So, I gotta get going. Got our chopper in here. Probably gonna be chopping some rye here in the next week or two. Got our field cultivator in the back. Got a little blue. Attached our anhydrous bar. We got our bean seed tender in here as well. Alrighty. I got enough product in me, so I'm gonna head down there and go spray that last of that no-till. See, we're gonna haul manure this weekend. That way we can rip everything up or chisel it down, chisel the manure in and plant it here next week. So I'm gonna go shut the water hydrant off real quick so I have water when I get back. So I'll probably have time to run down there, spray those 20 acres of no-till that's left, come back here and maybe spray one, spray one more load. So a really nice day haven't had we got we got i think seven tenths of rain on sunday maybe it was monday i can't remember but it's thursday now and that's dried up real nice the cows oh yeah there's plenty of water in there got about probably 1400 gallons in there anyway so it's dried up real nice we needed that rain we we're getting dry so we wouldn't we weren't complaining. So we've been very fortunate with weather so far this year. Kind of timely rains when we needed it, but we had nice long windows to plant too. So yeah, the crop's looking real good. The first corn and beans that we planted, uh, corn already looks like it's at V3, which from my understanding, V3 is where it's growing its third leaf. Could be wrong on that, but that's always been what, from my understanding, the V's meant. But we'll get going, or I'll get going. Like I said, I wish I didn't have class tonight. I'd be out here spraying all night, but you gotta have priority sometimes, I guess. See you guys at Long's. There's the corn. You can definitely row it. It's tough to see through there, but corn on the left's a lot more green than the corn on the right. Both of them has been sprayed and looking good. All right, update for you guys. Not good day. Not good day. As you can see, oh, there's some liquid underneath my sprayer and I'm stuck in the middle of the road. It is almost five o'clock and there are gnats everywhere. So that is also not a good idea, but sorry for coming up the mic, but uh, Okay, if you guys might not have noticed, it was about 3 o'clock, actually not even, 2.30 when I left Preston with this sprayer. And I still haven't made it to Long's yet, and I'll tell you why. It's all hydraulic oil. For those of you guys who don't know, this sprayer is a hydrostatic sprayer, so it runs off of hydraulic oil. There's four hydraulic wheel motors in every single, on, the, uh, on this machine, one on each wheel. So, in case you can't tell, it's kind of tough, so we swap this, swap this hose, but right underneath here, right there this hydraulic hose must have been rubbing for so long until it just finally snapped it rubbed through too much where uh, it rubbed through everything so you kind of did it right there so 
I'll give you guys more of an update later, but it looks like Kunal's is just getting here with my hydraulic oil. I got the hose replaced, so I just need to swap the hydraulic oil. So. Sorry that I couldn't film more of this while I was out there, guys. But the hydraulic hose was rubbing up against the metal bracket shown, and then over time it just wore through. Now this is the other side that did not break yet, but it is close. I can already see the steel lining on the inside of the hydraulic hose, so it is only a matter of time before that starts leaking as well. But it ended up being a simple fix. We just had to replace the hydraulic hose, but it was a long hose, probably 15 feet long, so it took a little while. And protecting that spot wore, it wore through a little more. We also had to put more hydraulic oil in the machine. It was just I was just very frustrated because it was 95 degrees out that day and the gnats were everywhere. Just look at them. Well guys, bad news. Still can't get the sprayer going. Got the hose fixed. Got the hydraulic line. Got the hydraulic fluid back in it, but it still won't start. So I have to go. I'm actually going to be really late to class. I got class at six o'clock tonight. So I'm going to be real late to that, but what can I do? So I'll definitely make sure to help you guys probably in, later in the video, but for now, thank you guys very much for watching.